guys, so I am out deer hunting today. I am in a new stand I have not been in all year. This is like my seventh or eighth time deer hunting this year already, and yeah, I've only seen one decent buck this whole year, so it's been kind of slow for me, but so I'm trying this stand out for the first time, so we'll see if it turns out any better. I'm in the stand right now. I spooked the deer on my way in here, but it was way, like way over there behind me, so um, that deer didn't run over here at all, close to my stand, so it should be okay, but there is some snow on the ground too, so it should be pretty easy to spot deer, like across the whole woods. We're checking traps again today, and we got another catch. So we got another possum in a trail. It's that one trail I set during the video too with the 160. Another nice looking possum. I'm not a big fan of catching possums. I don't think any trapper is because they're not worth anything. But their population still got to be managed. They eat a lot of turkey eggs. I guess it's good to get another one out of here, but I'll get this toss them out get this trap reset I'll show you guys the remake so there's the remake right there got it nice tucked up in there again picked up a nice possum on this trail I'm still expanding my line a little bit every day mostly for mink obviously the more sets I got out the more better chance of catching a mink I got so right now I'm setting out some mink boxes I got a piece of muskrat in there from that muskrat I caught yesterday and I'm gonna set it right on this point of the creek this is where I had the bottom edge sets right there too, but I know this is a really good mink spot, so might as well have another set here just in case. So there's my mink box right there. I got a 120 in front of it. I'm gonna add some stuff on it. I'm gonna put some mink ear in. Spray it on the box. Mink have a very good sense of smell, so you gotta get some smells out there for them. Also got fish oil. I'm just gonna put some on the stick up here. Just get the smell in the air. A little bit in the water so it travels down. I've never caught a mink in a mink box. I've only, I just started doing this last year. These will pick up a few coon, but I have a 120 in there, not a 110, just in case a coon sticks his head in there. Should be able to bring one down. I got some mink lure, Lennon's mink lure. Put a stick of that right up there. And that's what's ready to go. That pretty good spot for a mink box. Alright, we're at our last two traps of the day, and I can see we got something floating in the water. Right over there I have an empty conibear on a coon trail. And right here, got a muskrat sitting under the water, the bottom edge set. The muskrat populations around here have just been exploding the last, like just the last one or two years. In this creek right here, I never would have thought there'd be muskrats in here. I've never seen muskrat in here in my entire life. So I was just going after a mink, but we got a muskrat. That is crazy. Yeah, it's a nice rat. 110 bear on a brick. Had it tucked up right under that bank right there. Took two nights to get this one. Sweet. Got some fur and some more bait for some ink traps. I just finished skinning the muskrat. Turned out pretty good. I didn't, I fleshed them too and I didn't get any holes in it, surprisingly, which usually happens. I'll go ahead and turn them inside out. The right, so those furs on the outside so you can see them better. Nice little muskrat. I messed up on the nose a little bit, if you can tell real well, but I kind of got stretched out. It's kind of just a point instead of rounded off, but that's okay. He stretched out to be pretty nice size. Let's get him hanged up here so he can dry out. All right, I got the 
25 cal Marauder out right now. And we're gonna go squirrel hunting with it. Got the scope cam on there too. I haven't been squirrel hunting with a Marauder yet, so I thought we'd do it today. So I just heard a squirrel and we're gonna try to sneak up on him. And if we get one, we'll do catch and cook too. All right, we got a squirrel right there. He's about 30 yards, but there's too many sticks for a shot right here. So I'm gonna have to go around this way through this stuff. Try to get a different angle on him. Hopefully he doesn't run away. Ah, oh, he's gone. No, he ran away. I think I'm just gonna go to my tree stand and sit up there and wait. And I can probably get a super good rest up there too. It's right over there, so I'm gonna go up there. All right, I'm up in the stand. There's a squirrel right behind me. There's one right here. He's like right here. I wanna put you guys on the scope cam. I just smoked a squirrel at like 20 yards with my 25 cal. He ran probably 15 yards and then crashed in a pile of sticks. Oh man, there's squirrels just running everywhere today. They just, they won't stay still for a shot. Like they're just, they keep running and moving and everything. They won't, they will just not stay still at all. I do want to get at least one more so I can have more of a meal with, of them. I definitely think we'll be able to get at least one more because there, there's squirrels everywhere right now. Yes. I just looked behind me and there was a squirrel perched up on this branch eating a nut. Mm, about 35 yards. I think I just smoked him with a headshot. Ooh, that was awesome. We got two squirrels. I'm probably gonna quit because I don't really need more than that. All right, let's go retrieve our kills. All right, coming up on squirrel number one. I took a heart and lung shot on him because I was moving a little more than I'd like to to take a good headshot, so I just Aimed for a little bit bigger target. I hit him right there in the shoulder. Exited right there. I'm surprised he ran that far, especially with the 25 cal, but I wasn't too far, I guess, about 15 yards. All right, let's hope I can find this other one. Blends right in with the leaves. Oh, he's right here. Took him out with a headshot. Oh, yep, that's a lot of blood. It is the next day. I got the squirrel right here. And we're going to cook it up in the cabin. Right on top of this, what do you call that? A rack. Okay, we're going to cook it on there. And here's the cabin. You probably you might have seen it all before already on the turkey video. Turkey catch and cook. How much longer until it's going to be done? <laughs> Next year. <laughs> okay. Bring the flashlight, like, stand up here and hold it. Look at that yeah, it's perfect. Greg, Hi. stand up. Mmm, a nice squirrel. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. It's hot enough. The barrel's hot. Should we just take this rack off? Yeah. Whoa. Go. Put the barbecue on it and let it cook on it, then we'll dip it in. Think it's ready to flip? Ugh. And it got a little burnt, but it'll probably keep all the juices inside. There's one. Mmm, yummy. Look at that. Okay, hold that to cool off a little bit. Very juicy and tender. It got a little burnt on the outside, but it held all the juices in and made it really good. Mm. How is it? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, well, much better than I thought. Rate it one to ten on squirrel you've had. Mm. I had better squirrels, so this is probably five and a half. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Wade? One to ten. Probably a six. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, six. Not the best squirrel, but not bad either. Hit the like button, subscribe for more Catch and Cooks. And tell me if you would like this anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>